this new research paper came out questioning whether or not warm-up sets were actually worth our time doing. In the research, they looked to see if doing no warm-up sets versus one or two warm-up sets affected performance on the main lift. And they found that there was no statistical difference between doing any of those protocols, which made a lot of people say the warm-up sets are a complete waste of time. But of course, they were using leg press and bench press and for 10 reps, the high rep training. So I think this is pretty logical. If you're doing a lot of high rep training or isolation work, then of course you don't need to warm up for it. But if you're setting up to do some low rep training or any exercise with the lows going through the spine, I think it's really smart to make sure you ramp up your warm up so you get to your top working weight done in stages. And finally, if you just enjoy performing warm up sets and you feel they're beneficial, then that's 100% a good enough reason to continue doing them. And this is an example of an issue we have in the evidence-based space. Research comes out, people get very overexcited about it and blanket rule across all their audience without the ability to think critically about how the research is actually gonna be implemented in the gym. And if you like content like this, make sure you drop me a follow and DM me for information about online personal training.